Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. I do upload devotions every morning and I try to provide a variety of content during the week. So please let me know what you'd like to see. Our devotions are coming from Brenda Kuhneman's book called The Daily Prophecy. Best birthday gift ever. And our devotion today, it's Sunday, December 19th. It's six measly days until Christmas. I love it. Our devotion today is entitled, Send Prosperity. Ooh, let's hear the prophetic word. There is an anointing upon you this day for advancement, says the Lord. It shall cause you to push forward quickly because my spirit has sent an endowment of prosperity upon you now. Ooh, I received that. Our scripture comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 118, verse 25, and it says, Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Let's hear how Brenda expounds on this. In Psalm 118, 25, the word prosperity means to advance and push forward. When the psalmist was calling out for the Lord to send prosperity, he was saying, Lord, we beg you, push us forward and cause us to advance successfully now. He was expressing to the Lord his feeling that the next step going forward was going to require a supernatural push by the Spirit of God. Sometimes our next step requires a supernatural thrust from the Lord to help propel us to keep moving forward. Notice how the psalmist begins the verse by saying, save now. He was revealing that the next step towards success needed a God intervention for it to be even possible. He needed God to literally force his feet forward. Have you ever been in a situation like that? I have, and I think we're in that situation right now. We do need God's intervention in our lives and in our countries. Sometimes we need God to place an endowment upon us for that kind of advancement. Of course, that need for advancement can mean any number of things. Prosperity can certainly include a much needed advancement in the area of finances. However, the need is different for everyone. The important thing is knowing that if the psalmist could call out to God for divine prosperity to be sent in his situation, so can we. In whatever area you need to prosper or advance, ask the Lord to give you a divine endowment of power to push you forward. Expect it to manifest and know that the Lord is sending prosperity now. I love these uh, devotions because they really kind of open things up for me a little bit. They give a little more clarity and understanding and how certain things were uh, written. You get into the specific interpretations from the original text and how, you know, like I save, oh Lord, now I beseech you prosperity, you know, that that means uh, advance and push forward. I never would have, prosperity to me is just abundance. I never would have realized that the word was broken down to mean those things. So that's really encouraging. God loves us. We have to remember that. He is for us. He is not against us. And if you're in a place where you really feel the only way to move forward is for God to intervene, ask him for that today. Believe him for it and then trust in his timing for the release of that. Let's pray the prayer. Lord, I ask you to send an anointing for prosperity upon me right now. Cause me to push forward and advance in those areas where it looks impossible. I receive a divine intervention of prosperity upon my life today in Jesus' name. And Father, for those of us, Lord, who feel like we're in a holding pattern, waiting for the manifestation of your intervention, I pray, Lord God, you help us to hold strong, anchor us by your word, help us to believe and protect us from the lies and doubts the enemy would put upon us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for spending a little time with me today. I hope you're encouraged by that word as much as I am. Make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Bye until next time.